Let's talk about metric prefixes and our conversions. The first thing you really want to do is try to memorize what the prefixes are and their abbreviations. But more importantly, you really want to know the scientific notation factor that correlates with that prefix. So for example, let's try to convert one megameter to meter. The first thing I notice is that there's a metric prefix involved here. When I when I'm dealing with the metric prefixes, I need to make up my conversion sentences before I actually start the conversion. So I always start off with the metric prefix. One mega just means uh, 10 to the 6. So one megameter means 10 to the 6 meters. I'm going to go ahead and bring up over the second unit. So one megagram is 10 to the 6 gram. One megaliter would be 10 to the 6 liters. Once I have my conversion sentence, I can go ahead and set up my conversions. I always start off with my known. One megameter. Megameter is in the numerator. So then I would have to put megameters in the denominator. I'm going to use my conversion sentence to help me out with my conversions. One megameter is equal to 10 to the 6 meters. Megameters cancels out with megameters. I'm left with meters. So my final answer is 1 times 10 to the 6 meters. Let's try a second example. I have one second converted to nanosecond. I noticed that there is a metric prefix involved. So the first thing I want to do is make a conversion sentence. I always start off with my metric prefix. Nano means 10 to the negative ninth. So one nanosecond just means uh, 10 to the negative ninth seconds. Once I have my conversion sentence, I can go ahead and start my conversion. One second. Second is in the numerator, therefore second has to go in the denominator. 10 to the negative ninth seconds is equal to one nanosecond. Seconds cancels out. My final answer is one times 10 to the ninth nanoseconds. Okay, let's try a bit of a harder example. I have 125 deciliters converted to milliliters. In this example, I have two metric prefixes involved. So I'm going to make two conversion sentences. One deciliter is equal to 10 to the negative 1 liters. One milliliter is equal to 10 to the negative 3 liters. Now that I have my two conversion sentences, I can go ahead and set up my conversion. Always start off with your known, with your given, 125 deciliters. Deciliters is in the numerator, so I have to put deciliters in the denominator. I'm going to use my first conversion sentence. One deciliter is equal to 10 to the negative 1 liters. I have to keep going till I get to milliliters. So liters is in the numerator. Liters has to go in the denominator. I use my second conversion sentence to help me out with the numbers. One milliliter equals 10 to the negative three liters. Deciliters cancels out with deciliters. Liters cancels out with liters. I'm left with milliliters. So my final answer is 1.25 times 10 to the fourth milliliters. Let's try another example. Let's convert 375 nanometers to centimeters. Again, I notice that there's some metric prefixes. I have two different metric prefixes in this conversion. So I'm going to make two conversion sentences. I always start with the metric prefix. Nano means 10 to the negative 9. So 1 nanometer is 10 to the negative 9 meter. 
one centimeter is 10 to the negative two meters. Now that I have my conversion sentences, I can go ahead and set up my conversion. Always start with your given 375 nanometers. Nanometers is in the numerator, therefore nanometers goes in the denominator. I'm going to use my first conversion sentence. One nanometer is 10 to the negative nine meters. Now meters is in the numerator. I'm gonna put meters in the denominator. And I'm gonna use my second conversion sentence. One centimeter is equal to 10 to the negative two meters. Nanometers cancels out with nanometers. Meters cancels out with meters. I'm left with centimeters. So my final answer is 3.75 times 10 to the negative 5 centimeters. Good luck and keep practicing.